just having these sneak peeks all the time and then bam it's on the website i just feel like there is no fun in that anymore like where are like the the fashion ads and like the runway shows with all the cool bags and you're like oh my gosh runway piece like and then we've got this moldy marshmallow color scheme which is my least favorite but definitely reminds me of this word art font like guys am i right like maybe hey guys welcome to my channel i'm jess i'm just trying on a coat i got in the mail i know i like i don't really need another coat but um i'll show you guys some more details but it's pretty big i've tucked up the sleeve and yeah it has this knitted collar so i really like it what do you guys think so i'm usually like a size 32 or 34 European but this is a 42 so it's like really oversized but I just had to get it because well I was stalking it on Revolve and this is not sponsored guys but it's but I think it's like 600 or 800 dollars on Revolve and then I found this jacket on Saks Fifth Avenue and like as I said like four sizes too big but it was like 200 bucks so i was just like i'm just gonna get it i'm just gonna wear it oversized i can pull it off i reckon see like the sleeve is like really long i've kind of turned it up a bit it's it's real like, guys if you actually get your actual size i think this will look even better <laughs> i'm wearing my yoga uh, guys i have to stop wearing yoga leggings with pants but i just find it so comfortable i think this is from for love and lemons i've had it for so long guys like probably over seven years and then my boots are by the brand uh Guidi. um they're pretty cool i've had them for quite a, some time as well they're really good quality boots i think they're made in italy what do you guys think is it too big i mean it is but i think i can pull it off it's i, I just guys i'm keeping it because it was like can't be bothered sending it back and i'm gonna i'm just gonna wear it guys yeah really wanted to talk about some louis vuitton sneak peeks that i have noticed recently because i don't know guys i've been feeling lately that i'm i don't know i'm just like not into louis vuitton anymore i think maybe something came upon me recently i'm just like i think i just really want to go on a holiday i'm kind of like i i still there's still heaps of bags on my wish list guys but then i'm also thinking like what's the point anymore i really just want to go to japan right now it's just a lot of releases all the time things are starting for me to feel a little overwhelming and i really just want to enjoy some of my favorite bags that i i have and well today guys i wore my pink picketin which i've had for a few years and yeah it's in a really cute pink color it's actually getting dark guys i'm sorry about that went on the louis vuitton website today and i noticed that they had released it's called the spring in the city collection and it features all this kind of like emprunt leather colorful uh pieces i don't really understand the point of this collection like if you look at the description guys it's just like designed for sunny days in the city Louis Vuitton's new collection combines elegance with fun, with a fun, bright touch. Like, it's just very vague. And I, I don't know, for me, with fashion, there needs to be some sort of meaning or substance to it. Like, the meaning here is elegance with a fun, bright touch. Like, really? I just think it's really, it's kind of a very generic collection. And the thing with Louis Vuitton is recently, I feel like they're just releasing stuff for the sake of it like with chanel that they, they're kind of i can see them kind of going down that road but at least with like things that they release there's always some sort of symbolism behind it or like a story or you know this collection was inspired from this louis vuitton they do have their runway shows and they do have bags which come from those runway shows but they also release a hell of a lot of these like mini collections today when i saw foxy lv's instagram i think she uploaded these images just recently but she's leaked like the papillon bb in the pastel color theme as well as i think there's a marshmallow bag and like the bronze color tone and you know there's also the purple color tone and i just don't understand like where these colors came from for one thing i think of like myself when i was like six years old at school like in grade one i remember when computers were just like i was learning to use a computer and i remember discovering word art and like 
playing around with the, those like word art fonts for like hours and like using the purple one like the blue one and I'm like oh my gosh cool colors like I feel like this is the level of what this collection is a kid got colors and was just like ooh, and like I don't know if you guys like ever did this but when you had like school assignments and stuff would you ever like make like a square and then like fill it with like the rainbow gradient and then like put text all over it and then print it off and then it would use all the printer like the printer ink in your printer like I don't know guys like when I did school assignments I would always make everything gradient and rainbow and like I would just love playing around with the stupid uh Microsoft Word features these colors just I just think of Microsoft Word or like I don't know like some little kid just started playing around with the colors on bags and it's literally that guys like it's just so there is no, like, there's no story behind this, guys. They just got colours, and they thought, well, that looks pretty, let's make a bag. And I just feel like it has no connection to Louis Vuitton. It's just purely, like, a, a cash grab collection. And I don't see how, actually, I, I on face value, you look at it, you think, well, Louis Vuitton has never done, like, such pastel crazy colours, but... At the same time, like, yeah, there's a reason why they haven't, guys, because it's just, like, not even Louis Vuitton. It's just, like, what's this got to do with every anything? Like, at least with, like, the multicolor collection, like, the Takashi Murakami and, like, everything like that, there was some meaning behind it, and it actually changed the brand in a way that, like, that it kind of... It changed, like, a whole decade of fashion, to be honest. Like, the multicolor and the cherries, like, it really... And there were fashion shows dedicated to that stuff. Like, they had those pieces on the runway. But you're not going to see these pieces on the runway. They're just literally just doing the craziest, most outlandish colours to make money. And I just think, like, it's it's very... I don't know. It's very juvenile. Like, I like fun colours and stuff, guys. I'm not saying that the colours aren't pretty. But I just think there is there is no actual value in this collection because it has no meaning. And to me, when I buy bags, it needs to have some sort of significance to the brand heritage or uh, it has to make me feel something. It has to make me feel inspired. Like, I don't understand what sort of person is supposed to wear this. Like, who's the character they're trying to portray here? What is the look? Like, there is no story. Like, what is this? Like let's just make a rainbow and put it on a bag like why let me know what you think like if they did some sort of like i don't know ad campaign for it like you know pastel fairy in a rainforest like lookbook and then the, these bags were in it then maybe i'd feel a little bit more inspired but i don't know that like just having these sneak peeks all the time and then bam it's on the website i just feel like there is no fun in that anymore like where are like the the fashion ads and like the runway shows with all the cool bags and you're like oh my gosh runway piece like I just think, in my opinion, Louis Vuitton is releasing so much stuff that it just, like, it has no meaning. Like, and it, it just, it gets more expensive, and then you're like, oh, well, what's the point in buying it? Like, next week there's probably going to be a pink fuchsia metallic collection, and then next week there's probably going to be, like, uh, rainbow hardware um, oil slick. Like, I, I just don't understand what they're doing, guys. Anyways, um, let me know if you are kind of really enjoying all, like, the releases that Louis Vuitton are having. And I know they've been doing this for some time, but it's just recently I've kind of woken up and I've thought, like, like, what is the meaning behind this collection and why do we need to buy it? And how is it even going to work in my everyday life? Like, it's... I don't know, guys. Like, I, I'm just questioning everything recently, so love to know your thoughts on this collection are you thinking of getting anything i mean out of all the bags that we're seeing here actually i i feel like if i was like six years old this is what i would come up with like kind of thing so the pastel okay the, the minty purpley pink color scheme is so cute guys like it's very cute but i just wish there was more meaning behind this collection they didn't just like slap colors together I think the Papillon bag with that minty strap is is adorable, but I think it's something you could wear if you're very sporty, maybe, or if you're very young. I can't imagine this appealing to people who are, like, dressed a little bit more mature, or, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think it's definitely targeting maybe a younger audience, um, someone who likes fast fashion, someone who likes throwaway fashion. This is not something that I would buy as a classic piece it's definitely not classic and i can see it dating quite fast to be honest 
I've also, like, the marshmallow bag is actually really cute. I think this could be a really practical style. Like, in 10 years, will we look back on this and think that was such a cool collection and becomes really rare? Or is it just going to become among another one of, like, these crazy Louis Vuitton collections have been, that Louis Vuitton have been doing, like, the giant monogram and, like, the game on? And, you know, I'm, I am bored of those things, guys. And I just found that, like, they dated really fast. They became boring. And I got over them and they, they're continuously just churning out these really colourful and like random collections. And I I just think this is going to be a one, another one of those that like everyone's hyped up about it when it comes out. But then like a year later everyone's over it. So, And then we've got this mouldy marshmallow colour scheme which is my least favourite but definitely reminds me of this word art font. Like guys am I right? Like maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> There's the purple colour scheme, which is probably, I don't know, it's it's kind of like a little bit more edgy. I think it's a little bit more, it's a little bit more subtle compared to the pastel one. But it definitely reminds me of this word art font. So again, I'm like, do we need this? Like, I don't wish that Louis Vuitton would maybe do more artistic collaborations. I know, know they still do that kind of thing, but um there i just think there is no substance to this guys like i'm kind of over it i'm not gonna buy it i, I don't love it i don't think it's very usable versatile and i think it, the price is stupid so yeah that is my honest opinion thanks for watching my video and uh please like and subscribe if you enjoy my channel uh and yeah guys i'll talk to you next time bye